From Orange County and the campus of Chapman University, this is the Chapman Business Report. On this segment of the Chapman Business Report, Pete Weitz are joined by Liz Fiacco and Alex Solano, recent graduates of Chapman University, and recent being the operative word here because they have their own business. They did not wait around to be hired. Maybe emblematic of millennials these days that you're going to be your, in all likelihood, a strong likelihood, you're going to be your own employer. But that's daunting. Did it come naturally, Liz, Alex, to you, that you would you know, write your own paycheck yeah. and raise, raise the money, pay the bills right out of the gate? Um, it definitely was appealing because we're both like very creative people and our team's very creative. So going into something where there weren't going to be people telling us what to do on the game that we were making or the, how to make our products was extremely appealing. Additionally, uh, the indie game development arena is full of like people that just want to get the game out there, get it done, don't have to worry about like as much business needs, you know. Well, the game they developed, it's a mobile platform, educational video game. It's called Axel. Take a look. And back with the creators of Axel, or co-creators, and they have three other partners, Liz Fiacco, Alex Solano. So it's a two-dimensional educational video game. How'd the idea come about? Um, me and one of our other uh, uh, founders, uh, we were actually talking about what we could make anything interesting out of a video game, even if it's something kind of boring with no personality, like a gear. And then we were like, oh yeah, we can definitely make that with tons and tons of personality. So, that's kind of the challenge that we took um, in creating Axel. Because so, it's Axel the Axel. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like a little cog with the like face and everything like that. So. Yeah, when we uh, came up with the name itself, we were like, oh, we want a mechanical part, but it sort of sounds like Axel Rose, you know? <laughs> so. How does, uh, so a, a, any, for any entrepreneur, I mean, it, it, so it starts with that idea. Take me through the next steps. Um, we are all like kind of developers by trade, so we either do art or programming, Your design. Degree in digital arts. Yes. There's computer science and, and, and gaming. Yes, yeah. they have a game development minor here at Chapman, and that was really helpful. Most of us had that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you, you, together, your team of five, yeah. conceive of Axel. Where do you go from there? Um, we were really good about project management. Um, we made sure at like every step we had something playable, um, that we were play testing it all of the time, and we were just very organized with like making sure we were always like moving forward on getting work done. Um, so, and we were doing this for a class project, and by the end of what a sophomore then or a junior? Uh, seniors, yeah. Okay. Um, and then by the end of that year, we had won uh, first place in this IEEE Game Sig Intercollegiate Showcase. Uh, which I think there's about like 40 teams that submitted, like we, 10 teams presented and we ended up winning first place. So it was around that time we decided like, hey, like people want to buy this game, like people actually want to see more of it. And that's when we kind of battened down the hatches, started working with uh, Launch Labs. So and Launch Labs is part of the entrepreneur, Leatherby Entrepreneur Center here. It's, it's incubator yeah. space and mentoring. What, what, do you, what, do you, what did you get out of uh, housing your development. Now you've moved out, you have your own studios, but initially housing your project there. What did you get out of that? Well, it was a really nice place where we could all just meet because, you know, we all lived in different places. Um, and then we could just collaborate and get stuff done. And it was very professional, no distractions. Um, and then they had uh, people there that could give us advice, um, legal assistance, et cetera, as we're like, we started a business from scratch with the help of the Leatherby Center. Yeah. Because none of us were business students, yeah. they they started teaching us like all the business jargon and like all the things, all the steps that we needed to take that we didn't know as developers. Sure. Now you have a CFO who's your brother, mm -hmm. but he's a computer science major. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but he he uh, is planning on going back to graduate school and things like that for for business, and it's definitely like his passion uh, is investment and everything like that. So. 
But everything takes money uh, yeah. if you're not landed gentry, born into it. So you went the Kickstarter route. How does mm -hmm. that work for those who don't know? Um, we're really fortunate that uh, it, well, first of all, it's like a crowdfunding source. So we basically post our project up. Um, we have a bunch of little reward tiers for how much money, depending on what people's donations are. And, um, and it's straight up, other than there's, there's a take for the company, right? Mm -hmm. And is this the one that Amazon is, is part of? Um, is Amazon the, charges their credit cards. Okay. So, so like there's a, about a 10% take, I think. That, uh, between Kickstarter and Amazon, but, yeah. But anyone who, who don't, it's, it's, a donate, it's a donation. There's no equity for it. You retain all the equity. Yes, yes. So, the genera so there, it's, there's a generous spirit out there. Yeah, there's definitely a generous spirit. And we were really lucky that we um, kind of got the right timing as well. Um, it was when Kickstarter was just taking off. They were do this, there were a lot of successful indie projects out on Kickstarter at that time. Um, now it's a little bit harder to sort of get noticed on Kickstarter because like there are more and more people, but it's still There's more a, noise out there, right? Yeah, it's still a very viable way to, to make money for a project. Cute character, cute product. What do you see? What, what's the market? Who's going to buy it? it? Typically on a mobile platform, what, it's $2 to buy the, to, to download per month for no, just, just one time? One Flat time. Fee. <laughs> who, who, who's, who's buying? Who's using your product? I've seen some terrific comments from gamers, by the mm -hmm. way. So I want, I want to hear what you think you got right. But who's using it? Who's it's a wide range. Like uh, I've seen kids playing it. I've seen adults playing it. Um, we built it in such a way that like anyone can just pick it up. The controls are unique, so that takes a little learning. But then beyond that, like if you're interested in the game and you're really into it, you can get better and better as it goes on. It gets more difficult as you get further on. And so if you're really into gaming, there's that difficulty. But if you're just a casual gamer, there's also something for you as well. Yeah. So you could see real, like, you know, under 10 years old could be using this game. Yeah, yeah. We, ha we have seen kids <laughs> playing under 10 Pretty years young. old. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's child appropriate, but <laughs> it's challenging for everyone, I guess. So if that makes sense. And we said it's kind of appropriate appropriate that we're here uh, in the middle of April because now you've added a few new platforms to it's yes. out. Yes. Um, we just added uh, the Kindle Fire and we added Windows Phone. Yeah. So that now brings us to Android Phone, iOS, Kindle Fire, and Windows. And I mentioned you have gotten plotted certainly online. What do you think you got right uh, from a game design? What, what did you get that maybe you can't get in other games? What did you do? Um, the, the way that you move around in this game, I think, is really unique and connects with people. Um, since you play as a gear, uh, all, of, all of the platforms that you're on are also gears. So you're rolling in every direction, um, and uh, there's like this kind of like smooth quality to it that I think people like really enjoy. It's fun just to move around. It's fun also to beat the levels and everything like that, but I think it really like captured something really neat. So Liz, Alex, to wrap, wrap up, what do you go from here? For, you, uh, obviously, you want to keep, you know, sell more new markets, new mm -hmm. platforms. Where do you go from here with Axel? And then what's your next pro uh, product? Um, Axel's got like kind of this like mechanical sort of bent to it, but we really want to kind of like focus in on uh, putting in like this sort of like educational content under these like really, really fun uh, games so that way people play them for fun. So sell to school districts, sell to... For, for yeah exactly and um, and that way people play them because they want to play them but then I think they'll retain some understanding of you know systems that make sense in reality and everything like that so I think that's where we want to go. We, we're really excited to like get started on our new project soon. So They are Liz Fiacco, Alex Lano, co-founders of Fall Street Studios. The game is called Axel. Look for uh, even greater things from the two of you down the road. Cool.